Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have lots of fun card designs for you. I have used almost all of the pattern papers that I received in my Simon Says Stamp Sunshine Floods September card kit. I will also be using washi tapes and sentiment label stickers from Tim Holtz Ideology Collection which was also part of the kit. You'll notice that some of the cards that I created in today's video have no sentiments. I will save these cards for future. I can either stamp or add sentiment labels depending on the occasion and the recipient. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos. Check out the link in the description box below for all the supplies that I used in today's video. Let's begin creating some fun backgrounds using the Four Seasons Summer double-sided pattern paper from P13. This is a 6x6 pattern paper pad with beautiful and fun floral patterns. I must confess I had a really tough time choosing the pattern papers for my backgrounds since I didn't want to lose any of those designs which would go behind stuck on the card base. Let's create our first card using this beautiful floral pattern paper. I'm going to use the pink pattern paper for the first two cards. If you look closely, the pink pattern paper has some texture on it. It's not a solid color which makes this pattern paper really fun to work with. I'm making an E2 size card. I cut out the floral pattern paper 4 by 5 1 quarter. At this point, I'm confused whether I should use the pink or the yellow pattern paper. I love how vibrant and full of texture these card papers are. They're really thick and easy to work with. I ended up going with the pink. That was my final plan anyway. Let's see how we can arrange these pattern papers together. I decided that I would arrange the pink pattern paper diagonally over the floral paper. I will be using the sparkly green washi tape and add some kind of divide between the two papers. I decided not to waste any part of these paper pads. So instead of hiding the entire panel under the pink cardstock, I cut the floral paper diagonally. The smaller piece can be used on another card. Even though the washi tape has a sticky back, I like to use some glue to adhere the washi tape onto the cardstock. We can create another card using the same combination of colors or a totally different pattern. I'm using the same technique, same combinations of pattern paper but in reverse. So here we have two different cards using two 6x6 pattern papers. I'm using the Hello Friend sentiment label sticker from Tim Holtz. These are beautiful peel and stick sentiment labels with a slightly raised embossed sentiment. I'm using my ruler to line it up straight onto my card panel. For the second card panel, I decided to add some dimension and more pattern to the card front. Using a scrap piece of card paper from the same Four Seasons Summer paper pad, I fussy cut out the floral pattern and added it to my card front using foam tape to add some dimension to my card. I'm using the happy birthday sentiment for this card. You see the thin little strip that was on the edge of the label strip? We are not going to waste that either. I will use that strip on the first card that I created. 
You will see it in the pictures of the finished card. Even though these labels have a sticky backing, you can easily remove them and rearrange them if you're not happy with the positioning, just like I did here. I wanted to add something extra on the card front, so I fuzzy cut out some extra flowers and placed it around the sentiment strip and we can call this card done. I stuck both card fronts on yellow card base using strong double sided tape. Our cards are never complete without some sparkle. I am using my Spectrum Noir glitter pen to add shine and sparkle to our little bunch of flowers. If you take a close look at this card, you will notice the small little black strip that was on the edge of the sentiment labels. Let's move on to the next card. I am using the same technique of two pattern paper combinations and a sparkle washi tape. Repurposing the pattern papers here to create two cards out of these pattern papers. I am creating A2 size cards. It's just a different orientation of pattern papers. The entire technique remains the same. I'm using an A2 size panel for reference here to get the positioning of the pattern papers and the washi tape correct. Once my panels were ready, I stuck them onto a red card base using foam tape for some extra dimension. Here we have two cards one top folding and one side folding card. I am not sticking any sentiments on these just yet. I will wait for the perfect occasion. Let's move on to the next set of cards. Well, now this was the most difficult choices I had to make. I love this pattern paper and look how gorgeous both sides are. I had to find a way to use both these sides without wasting any of the patterns on this paper. I decided to cut the pattern paper midway so that I could use both sides of this beautiful floral arrangement. I will be making mini slimline cards using these papers. For our first card, I used two washi tapes here. I love this washi tape collection. It goes really well with my card base. It was a little tricky to stick the sparkle washi tape over the first tape, so I just used some liquid glue and it worked just fine. I used some foam tape to stick the pattern paper onto the edge of the card base. I can use the blank space to add sentiment for the card. I'm using the exact same technique for the second card. Just that I'm adding washi tape on both edges of the pattern paper. Kind of a border for our pattern paper. Here again, I stuck the pattern paper using foam tape on the card base. I was thinking of using the happy birthday die cuts for our sentiments but then again this card could be perfect for any occasion so i decided to leave it as is here's a look at both our mini slimline cards i've not added any sentiments as yet i could add it depending on the occasion or the recipient to whom i would be giving this card in future now for our final card design here, I have lots and lots of cutouts. I am using all the little flowers and floral bunches and other beautiful patterns that were on one of the paper pads. I fuzzy cut out all the little patterns and we will be creating something really beautiful. For this card, I decided to go for a black card base. I will mix and match all the cutouts. 
add some foam tapes for dimension and lots and lots of sparkle to all our patterns. Here again, I chose not to add any sentiments and probably use some sentiments and embellishments to finish my card in future. Once I assembled all the floral patterns and my card base was ready, I stuck the panel onto an A2 size yellow pre-folded card base and we can call this card done. Here's a look at the finished card. Now for our final card, I'm creating an embossed background over which I will adhere all the cutouts and create a beautiful pattern. Here, I'm trying to create a frame with all the cutouts fixed around the frame. Before I adhere everything on the embossed background, let's add some pop of color. I'm using Distress Ink to add color onto our background. Once everything is fixed in place, let's add some sparkle using the glitter pen. At this stage, I will call the card done and will add a sentiment in future. Here's the look at the finished card. Here's a look at all the cards I created using the pattern papers. You could put in a white panel inside the card for a handwritten greeting and pair it with a matching envelope. I love how all these cards turned out. This technique is fun to try because every time you do it, you're going to get a different result. So by all means, give it a try. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram with your beautiful creations. Thanks so much for watching today's video. All supplies can be found linked in the description box below. I will see you back here with another card project. Thanks again for joining me today. I would love for you to become a subscriber to my channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. Here are a couple of other videos that you might find interesting. Thank you so much and have a great day.